All right, guys, this is another little quick little video. How do I rust my uh, bumpers? The way I'm going to rust the bumpers on the 55 with this raw umber is watercolors. So uh, I already applied it on the bumpers. And to me, I find out this is just one of the best raw umber. Remember, it's got to say watercolors. So I'm going to dip my brush in the water. Right, I'm gonna hold this right here and we're gonna work on this bumper here. Dip it in the water, and then I got a napkin here, and I'm gonna start taking some of this off. And then it's gonna be like uh let me dip it more in the water. It's got it's gonna start it's gonna be rusting this little bumper right up. There you go. There it goes. I'm going to keep dipping the... Here we're going to start rusting it up. Oops. I'm going to start rusting it up. And it's going to look natural. It's going to look real. It's going to look real, real. I like it. And that's the way I rust my bumpers on my model on my diecast cars. I use watercolors. You know, you start buying these other brands and they're expensive, man. And this is gonna give you a better look. Look at that. It's crazy. All right? So I'll take some off over here. Cause remember I'm building this 55 as a barn find. Or is it a bandit 55? Because uh, some of the parts can warp. So I'm gonna. Well, this is the way I, I, I rust my bumpers. I mean, you could go as far as you wanna go. All right, there it is right there. You can take a better look at the bumper. And that looks very real, guys. I don't know about you. But I thought I'd share this tip with you guys. Here's another one right here. I'm gonna do it right here. Always gotta remember, you gotta keep dipping it in the water and in the napkin and cleaning that brush right up. All right. There it is right here. Let me keep, sorry about how uh, she's falling, but uh, here it is guys, look. This thing looks so real, so so rusted. But I thought I'd give you a, a, a great tip, man. You know, all you need is water. And that looks very real, guys. You know, keep cleaning it up as, you, you, as far as you want to go. Here it is right there. I'm going to do this right here. Oh, look at that. It's rusting that bumper right up, guys. Uh, let me get it away from the sun. But it looks very real you know you clean it up as, as much as much as you want to go but this is the way I rust my bumpers and it looks it gives it a real real reality rust and you know you could buy this at Hobby Live for 99 cents there's uh raw umber it's watercolors it's awesome so that's the way I rust my bumpers easy uh environmental friendly water and that's it man and here is these are the bumper guards let me do one of the bumper guards here look at that man that's crazy looks awesome and then what you remember always remember before you do this uh weathering you always got to del coat the bumpers okay because then it won't stick it's got to stick Look at that. You can't beat that, man. It's crazy. Then you throw some, some grass, some dried leaves. It's going to look awesome, man. All right, guys. I thought I'd make a quick video how to weather the bumpers with just water and acrylic. I mean, I'm sorry. Watercolors. Not, a, not acrylic. Watercolors. There it is. There's watercolor on it. Sometimes they got a package deal at a Hobby Lobby. I bought the package deal. 
Uh, the box is over there for uh, twenty five dollars. It's got a set. It's got like, I think thirty three paints. But uh, here it is, guys, and here's the bumper. It's crazy. How can you beat that? It looks so real. All right, peace, happy weathering, and happy collecting. I thought I'd share this tip with you guys. Maybe some of you guys might know it. But, man, that looks real. All right, peace.